Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Peter Howarth, we're here, day one, NAB 2024. How is it so far? It's been good, actually. It's been a good start. It's been really, really good, actually. A lot of people, a lot of new faces as well. I hope to see more new faces. Uh, but it's been good. Good. Thank you. And so what are you showcasing here this year at NAB? Yeah, we, we have a couple of uh, new product launches. We're launching a Solaris codec, which is a multi-codec with an entry level of eight channels. It goes up to 64, so in one rack unit, we can handle the distribution for 64 stations, for example. So it's a really nice product for us, and it's going to be a, a big hit for the market, I'm sure. We're not the first one, of course, but it's a really good product. And who are you targeting with this, and what are the prospective use cases? Well, that product is typically aimed at station networks. Uh, it can be anything from a small station network or to a wider area network where we have up to, as I said, 64 stations. So, yeah. And what are you seeing that's happening in the market with regards to trends? Well, the trends have been pretty consistent the last, let's say, five, ten years. We're more and more into IP, remote production, uh, the possibility of doing uh, coordination remotely as well. And that's why we are presenting as well a new series of panels for uh, our intercom systems. And where are you positioned overall in the market and what do you see is going to be happening in the future for AEQ? Well, we're definitely in the broadcast industry. We, we, our, our origins 45 years ago was the PA business. So we came from the, from the entertainment music business. But we transitioned into the broadcast and after that uh, we're more and more into both radio and TV broadcast now and we're getting more and more into the AV industry as well, working with integrators that find applications for our products that we, we never thought about before. But it's opening our eyes and our minds of course and allows us to evolve and, and get into a, a larger segment of the audio video market if you wish. And what do you think is going to be happening in the industry as a whole in the future? It's merging more and more, right? We're getting people doing, we, we, we get a lot of people asking for products for podcasting. We have smaller stuff that we can use for that. Uh, but again, the, the, the markets are sort of merging into one single audio video market and it, it's making it interesting. And it also presents a lot of challenges because the, the end users aren't traditionally broadcasters any longer, to us, I mean. So they are more and more into, well, they are regular users with no technology background. We have to give them everything. We have to, we have to explain everything to them, and it has to be very intuitive. It has to be very simple to use. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Peter. No it's been a pleasure. Thank you.